my thing and that's why I, I'm not gonna be a little open to telling you guys who I have beef with and why because ultimately those are individual issues and for me it's like I'm very like within proximity if I got a problem with you I want to talk about it within proximity and take as much time as you need within proximity of the issue mm -hmm. don't take it to two three years four years a year and a half that's too long details yeah, are lost later, now later. yeah I don't yeah. want to go backwards but if we have to I'll pull from the vault <laughs> but I don't want to. You see what I mean? Yeah. Um. So, what are we doing today? Girl, I don't know. I'm relaxing today. I think I've I've done my part to try to make this adventure start off great. So, this yeah, will be interesting. You from hard you I know, right? <laughs> I just told her I snuck down here last night to nibble on what oh, was yeah. left. It was so good. It was good. Yeah. Thank you. Spice Thank you. It's good that everybody can eat spice, so the next one we're going to do is going to be real spicy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She said, oh. I love spicy food. It's good for your heart. It is. It is. So How did you. From? What, say that again? Where are you originally from? Nigeria. 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 That's why we had Nigerian food. So, yeah. um, my <laughs> girl. You look. Amazing. Hey, Jay. How are you okay. feeling this morning? When are you going to show me the dance? Okay. Refreshed. You do? I got some rest. Yeah. Yeah, I'm feeling You look great. Thank hey guys. you. What are you guys going to do? I think um, Jackie's going to take you over to... Yeah. Yeah. I'm the driver. That's it. No, I don't leave people. Not <laughs> now. So we can't look at what we're leaving together. <laughs> exactly. Um, but I think Jackie's going to bring you over to meet the other girl. Mm -hmm. uh, when I will be here. Well, yeah. I will. Unless you want to go. Yeah. I don't think... Uh, uh, the conversation we had, I don't think it's a good idea. No, no, don't, no. See, that's what I wanted to avoid. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's what I wanted. I did not want... Okay. It's unfortunate. Mm -hmm. The reality of our situation. Yeah. I did not want you guys to take yesterday's conversation mm -hmm. and make a determination on if you wanted to get to know these girls or not. Because I really think it's important for everybody to to try to vibe. I tried to vibe, it just didn't work for me. So mm -hmm. what didn't work for me might work for you guys. Yeah. So I ho how can we erase? <laughs> well, I'm okay. Erase your, your ladies. Yeah. You know, after the conversation we had, I understand you have to deal with your yeah. and I wouldn't want to go over there. It's, Something like that happens. Yeah, I mean, but. especially if you know certain energy will provoke a situation. It's also yeah. good to always protect your energy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But this, this, this is something that that is that was an experience that I ha that happened to me. Mm -hmm. An experience that happened to me. It, I don't want to rub off on anybody. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? It's all about perception. I don't want you guys to perceive them one way when you haven't an, had an opportunity to get to know them. Mm -hmm. So it's it's whatever. It's whatever. I'm not gonna lie. Unfortunately, you guys seen aside and heard some conversations that you guys weren't present for or privy yeah. to but it is it is what it is that's our reality so yeah, yeah. Well, I, I think, think it's like being honest yeah. Yeah. just yeah. living in your truth yeah I'm trying yeah. mm -hmm. my stalker who tried to say that what did he try to say? Oh, he tried to say I slashed his tires. Meanwhile, you see these nails? Like, I'm not, I don't even know how to change a tire, let alone put air in a tire. I'm a teacher because you should know how to do that, but <laughs> carry on, Jesus. And it's like sitting in court with this crazy motherfucker staring at me, and then um, it cost me $15,000. So it wasn't, it was, it was for, because what happened was he said that I slashed his tire, right? And so then he went and got a restraining order because they just give them shits out. And I was Not like, wait, everyone. what? <laughs> I was God. like, what? I don't know what. Now his ass is locked up in jail for a murder to hire plot. And, and he's never getting Girl, out. Okay, Jen. Ugh. You have so many murderers <laughs> and, and threats. You date a lot of guys trying to kill people. What is going Listen, on? It was his own family. No, here's the thing. You guys only hear about the bad stuff. but I Nobody wants to hear about anything good. Too bad. I do. Yes, I believe in the institution of marriage. Okay. I do, I do. It's like, I'm not looking for love because mm -hmm. when you look for something, I, I just don't. That's but that, it's like I have important. so much going on and I'm like really focused on work right now. Jackie's going to hook me up on a blind date. So, okay. 
So yeah, so we'll see. Okay. Girl with Jackie, you never know. I don't want to be in a text relationship. Okay. You cannot sit around and text me all day. Okay, I like fair. to I like to see people. I like to FaceTime. I like to talk on the phone. So I'm very old school when it comes to that. I feel like in this world that we're in, everybody wants to text everything. Mm-hmm. And I get it. You know, you can't sit around and talk on the phone all day, but... I do think it's important to make time to have that um, that form of communication. Yeah, yeah, I agree. What and else? I like to see people. I've been in like long distance relationships. That doesn't really work for me. Yeah. So I'd rather, you know, because sometimes you have a bad day and you just want to like hug your man. Yeah. So I don't, I'm not doing a long distance anymore. I want him to adore me. I want him to be my best friend. I do want him to be handsome. I'm not trying to, like, put nobody on. I I need somebody to already have their shit together. And then I'm like, oh, I just, man, I think maybe I'll move to Paris in a few years and, like, just live my life. I don't know. So I go, we'll we'll see. But but those are the characteristics that I would like him to have. Okay. Go on. Get your man together. And then, you know, I went through the crazy situation with my car being stolen. Mm -hmm. Probably after my car got stolen. Because I was going back and forth with my attorney because... We had to like make sure the name wasn't taken, do right. like all the paperwork. Oh, it was probably it probably like coincided, mm-hmm. but um, yeah. So that's kind of like how we started, and then I had some. I have been talking about it for a while. Yeah. And then some projects came to me because I'm executive producing a leather show that they actually should almost be done filming, and it's gonna premiere the top of the year like first quarter okay it's gonna be on the urban movie channel oh that's nice i gotta tell you it's so good to hear other people achieving goals dreams and what have you especially in the midst of what we're going on right now i'm telling you because guess what i'm excited about my project so like i'm really really excited about my documentary you know, like I'm doing my idea. Right, you know, right, right. This is, this is like all mine. When I tell you this is like my baby, I am I'm involved in every intricate detail. Right. So. Which is good because I think that experience will give you like new stuff to your resume. It'll yeah. help you obviously maneuver in the industry a little bit more with that on your resume. So that's always a plus. I know. I know some people might not be always happy for those, but I'm happy for you. <laughs> we had a one on one with Shine, and when we talked about you guys' situation. Yeah. And um, we basically told her the situation you know, last night and the moment where you kind of opened up to us. And um, she was like, she's never had a one-on-one with you. Mm-hmm. And I was like, you know, maybe that could be an option one day. And therefore, you guys can talk about Because you just never know how you really could vibe with somebody who never had a one-on-one. But um, she would be more open to it if you could understand from her words where she's coming from. And I was like, well, maybe if y'all both can understand where you guys are coming from, then y'all can kind of get an idea of how to move forward with the situation. Mm-hmm. So. Well, I've definitely talked to her privately before okay. without an audience. Mm-hmm. I don't know how cute that version is, but I have. And mm-hmm. She has my number. Um, she's texted me before. Mm-hmm. And so I mean, I'm available. I'm always available. I've never been closed off. I think too many times conversations keep happening with the wrong people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I, I don't. I don't know what to say about that, to be honest. Mm-hmm. I did mention that I was like, she didn't tell us who. But I was like, whoever it is, I feel like we need to take accountability. Whoever that person is. Well, see, here's the thing. I don't want you guys speaking for me, especially since, like, you guys don't really have to fight that fight because you guys are still learning these girls. I don't want it to become a negative thing, mm-hmm. guilty by association type of thing. So mm-hmm. honestly, I would just like for it to either happen on its own or not at all. I don't care either way, but I don't want you guys to feel pressured because that me, me. this is why I personally hold back with sharing how I feel about things because mm-hmm. then people take that as, okay, we have a little bit more information about how she feels, so maybe we can reiterate it like this. And I'd rather that not happen at all. Be honest, because mm-hmm. 
once again, I'm, I'm, I'm here for people to come to their own epiphanies on their own and have their own revelations on their own. And I don't think anybody needs to be guided left or right. So. Yeah. I just wanted to be clear, you know, whatever the situation, you don't come around this way. Because, like, you know, if they offend you in any way, I don't want them to offend me in any kind of way. And so. It's up to them. Everybody's an adult. I've, I've had plenty of time with these ladies, so I'm not, I'm not forcing it. Like I said, it's been almost a year and a half, almost two years now. It doesn't take that long to either recognize what you did wrong or stand firm saying you didn't do anything wrong. Yeah. But to say nothing and to consistently be having conversations with other people, it's like, I can't take that sentiment for what it is because it just keeps happening. Like, right after the reunion, conversations were, were happening without the people involved or at least, at least without getting my side of things. So for me, I, I like I said, you guys don't have to speak for me. It's not something that has to be relived through you two. Um, they know how to reach me. I'll just put it to you like that. So if anybody feels any type of conviction to want to have a conversation with me, it is very easy to do that. Mm -hmm. And um, if they have it, that's a choice. So, mm -hmm. yeah. I was on my computer, OJ was doing some arts and crafts. It was a good day. Oh, listen. How can we know what's going on? I'm going to tell you what we can do. What we can do is adjust our tone so that the delivery comes off. I mean, you see what I'm saying? What you gave me yesterday. What did I give you yesterday? You gave a tone yesterday. I, Jackie, please help these girls understand me because, no, what I need is to not address you because if I address you, I'm going to tell you right now, if I address you, I'm going to tell you right now, if I address you. If I address you directly, if I address you, this is what I'm talking about. If I address you, annoying, I came off hostile, being being direct with you twin. Let me, let me, let me, I'm gonna say, okay. I'm gonna say this, I'm gonna say this one time and one time only. I was trying to help you guys get to, you're not letting me speak. And if you okay. don't let me finish, you'll be sick. Oh, who have? Who have? You see? You see what I'm saying? So you, you guys oh, came you in it. here with you your agenda. You, you guys agenda. Agenda. You what's the agenda? Question. Question. What's going what on? What's going, going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? You don't know what's going on. What do you expect? Are you serious? Are you serious? You're telling us what it is. Are you serious? You Are you serious? Is, so this is exactly why I didn't want to talk to girls who have well, no idea what's them. going on. You, don't have, you have no you idea what's answer. going on. Not I don't want to talk to you. Okay, well, I don't want to talk about easy, but you're asking about easy. Take your tone down. Take your tone down. Take your tone down. down. Take your tone 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 down. Jackie. This is why I asked you to be my witness because I already vibe this shit. Out. I'm talking to Jackie. Go ahead. I'm talking to Jackie, motherfucking Christian. Okay, you are. So when I'm talking to you, I'll look directly at you. <sighs> this is why I asked you to be my witness. You have been present for multiple, multiple conversations, and you know that my intent was to make sure from jump that these two young ladies got a fair chance. Is that a fair statement? Yes, it's a fair statement, you guys, but this is what I'm saying. This exchange right here is coming from something that started last night. I wasn't pretty to it. I, I was sitting there, but I didn't hear it. And then you guys had another conversation, today, which I was happy about, which I shared with you briefly. I was glad to hear you guys were able to talk about it. This is how they feel with you, but I did witness you guys all talk what's exactly the question so i can ask i specifically said to both of them when we were making breakfast right. i know yesterday i was direct with you 
and it's because I was annoyed. Okay. I was annoyed, and I have a right to be annoyed, okay? When you ask me questions and I don't answer them, it's for a reason. And when you ask it again, like you just did right now, and I don't answer them, I don't have to answer your question. And you don't have to answer my question either. And I, let me finish. I'm not speaking to you. You guys are two different people. I'm not speaking to you. You should. Thank you. When I said to you, it was for clarity. For clarity. And this is exactly why I don't like to have conversations in front of people who don't know me. Because I'm very direct. And I was trying to say it wasn't a direct attack on anybody. It was a simple, not the time. I didn't want you guys to mention me, period. Okay? That's it. And that's why I'm asking you to keep it 100. I didn't know. How am I supposed to know? I wasn't there. I was not there. You were actually here. You were actually present here. I'm going to you. That's why I came and brought it to you because I'd rather come and bring it to you than somebody else brought it. Come on now, we don't fuck who's sitting in front of us. You already know how these muscles don't come and tell you to say some shit. This so, thing. so, is it fair to say we're asked a lot to do things we don't want to do? Yeah. Okay? Do I would. Uh, hold on. Oh, I was asked. I was right asked now. to do a lot of things that I have already declined on your behalf, uh -huh. and I came to you personally, uh -huh. and I told you with no audience. That is different than you coming to me with an audience. First so time. for me, I have to be direct, and I have to say in front of everybody, just a consensus. I would like it for no one to speak to me. Wasn't talking down to you. Wasn't being mean to you. I didn't have a tone because when Jen asked me something, I said, no, I don't want to. I'm okay. I'm okay. I know exactly how I was doing it because I knew I didn't want to involve any of you. Like, you could have been like, okay, I don't need to talk to me. That's simple. But the That's tone, what I said. No, but the tone was different. So to me, okay. I can be really about the shit. So when I said to you at breakfast this morning, I know you guys don't understand me and this is just how I naturally mm -hmm. talk and I'm naturally direct. Did that resonate with either one yeah, of you? Yeah, it resonated, but to me, sometimes when that happened, it might happen again. You know what I'm saying? So, it might happen again where you might come off that tone again. Are, so, are we talking about what already happened or what maybe might happen? That and what maybe might happen. That's, 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 that's how I am. That's so, do you think okay, I'm going to so change you? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Gloria, let me talk, let me talk. Hold on, hold on, let me talk, let me talk, because I got a point. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, let me talk, let me talk. See, this is what I said. Okay, we're talking about colorism. So we thing. might have grew up that way, but sometimes our delivery as we give it can come off harsh. So, of course, okay. if I grew up that way and it came off harsh to me, I'm going to come off harsh back because, or I'm going to feel some type of way because when I'm at home, when it comes off harsh to me, a person got a problem with me. It's yeah. going to come off. Mia, I agree with you 100% about tone and delivery, mm -hmm. and I agree with you on that. And I will say this. There have been times where you have talked and you have had a tone and I didn't know why your tone was like that. What? And I didn't ask. I Mia, Mia, Mia. We're going to talk okay. right now. We're going to talk right now. No, we're going to talk right now. Then we will go. Well, then we'll get to that. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to talk to your sister right now because your sister go ahead go ahead i don't want to talk to your sister right now because that's not going to go well for her okay, okay go ahead what damn it oh, I mean, Gloria, chill chill right now chill right now let me handle this go ahead it's me and you you see what i'm saying okay this <laughs> me and you talking come on let's go what i don't want is it to look as though because I say something sternly, it's, it's a negative thing. I'm okay with stern talking to. I'm okay with delivery. I'm okay with somebody raising their voice if they're passionate about a subject. I need to get to know you. Just as I told you when you were brought to me, I need to get to know you before I ever pass a judgment. That's why I'm saying there have been times where you've had a tone and I never said nothing because I don't know you yet. So I'm trying to see if that's just how you naturally are and there's nothing wrong with you being passionate about something. Last night, I consciously said something without a tone. But you are saying you received it with a tone. I cannot change how you received it. I can only say what my effort was 
to nicely and directly tell you just don't mention my name to Shawnee or any of the girls at the other house because it's not your battle to fight. Mm. That's what I wanted to clear. I said it again at breakfast, even nicer. Okay, I, think, I, I think at breakfast it was, it was extremely you delivered said, well. You said I had a tone. Tell me an instance when I had a tone. When, uh, it's kind of difficult because I don't want to break the fourth wall, but long story short, you were inquiring, you were inquiring questions and you had a tone. I'll just put it to you like that. Okay, can I say this to you? Break the fourth wall, break it. Break it, okay. Break it. When, we were on our, when we were on our conversation, our group call, you was like, well, when the hell are we going, me and my sister going to film? Because we were told we were supposed to film today and we're not filming today. So are we filming? I got a question. Are we filming today or are we filming tomorrow? I was quiet. This was on our, 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 our COVID call. What we, did I say to you? We was talking. You know what I'm saying? What did I say to you? On the COVID call. Which COVID call? The last one we had before we came to and vacation. Did I have a hospital? Hold on. Did I have a... I'm, I'm, can I, I'm telling you. I was home sitting in the car. Why would you I have a hospital I don't know where you were. Why would I have a hospital tone when I was already told when I will be filming? I made sure that I verified that thing. Okay, but why would I have a hospital? Yeah, I don't care what the tone was. I, I don't care about that. If I had a hospital, I don't give a fuck. Do you about think it. your tone right now is hospital? Yes, it's hospital. Okay, so that's the tone but you I had. had a that's the tone you no, had when you asked the question. I love when I had my tongue. I don't give a fuck. Because I was excited to fucking film. I don't give a fuck what day it was. You're I'm asking me for an example, and I no, gave you an example. No, that was not an example. How are you going to tell me what my example because was? Because I was sitting in a fucking car and go shop for this shit. So how are you going to Okay, well, that's my example. That was my example. That was my example. That was my example. No, but you could have came. You, you, that you was my example. Like you coming like when I was, was in the fucking house or something. Okay, right you want me to give you another no. example? Okay, give me an example. Another so example. I can admit if I did or not. Uh, another example. I, I'm gonna go to that. <laughs> Call me a bitch one more time. Nori, I got this. I got this. Let me handle my own situation. I got this. Go ahead. You tell me my other situation. Tell me my other situation. Nori, don't bring me in no shit right now. I said I can handle my own situation. I said I can handle my own situation. Tell me when I had another hostile tone besides right now. Tell me when I had another hostile tone. When you were brought to me by your friend, mm -hmm. you were on the phone talking about Phoebe. What did I say? Um, can I finish? Sure. You were like, fuck that bitch. I'll fuck that bitch up. And you I said, let me finish. I was on my son. Can I? On my you fucking like, son. <laughs> God can strike me down right now. Can I finish? No, you don't say no shit like can that. Can I finish? On my fucking son. You can tried I to bring me on this Can I finish? You tried to I get, tried to bring yeah, you on the show. Say, I want to bring you. I get you on the reunion. You're a fucking liar. Now you're going to make yourself look stupid. I told my family never my fucking reunion. I ain't getting paid. So how did I know you? I don't know you. You know who? Go. Right here. Jackie, read this real quick. What does this say? Hey, B. I got you on speakerphone right now. It's me and OG. Hey. So, you know back last summer when you hit me up and you said that OG wants to bring me on, on the uh, show or on the reunion, right, to talk shit about who? That's a lie. Go ahead. No, 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 not him. Who does she want me to come on the show That's for? That's a lie. Who does she want me to come on the show for, show for and who she had beef with? That's a lie. The TV girl. Okay, what does she want me to do? You a liar. She wants you to come with that person. Okay, and what did I say to you? You a whole lie. Watch, oh, you a liar. What did I say to you? What did I say to you? That's no, 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 no. What did I say to you? You a what liar. What did I say to you? You a liar. What did I say to you? That's not even the first time she called me. Wait, I said I want what, B? Why did I say Elton, I want to come? Elton, Elton, Elton. Why did I say I want to come? I have, I have you on speakerphone. Elton. Why did I say I want to come? What? You don't know somebody you fired? What? You don't even know what I'm doing. You fired him, remember? Elton, what did you just tell me that? Elton, did you just tell me that? 
that Elton, how did I meet? You like how him. How did I meet? How did but I meet you? I'm hiring him because you need Elton, him. Elton, how did I meet you? Elton, how did I meet you? We got the truth right here. She's right? yelling because she knows she's about to look stupid. Now, okay, you Elton. just yell on me. I just Shut talk the truth. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up before I go all the way in. I don't care Elton. what you do. Elton. Elton. I mean, uh, uh. Elton. Uh, OG, come Elton. on. Elton, I got you on speakerphone. How did, how did I meet these? Okay. Can you stop talking for two seconds so we can get the audio? Get him the line for you. Go ahead. Elton. 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 How did I meet B? Don't nobody give a fuck about that nigga. You have you got your job, babe. 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 You ain't getting shit. You ain't getting paid. You have you got your job, babe. Give her. They need to give her a contact or a person to get it. I will remove you, Nia, if you can't shut up. I'm shut up. But, yeah. but again, yeah. you that's I understand. Okay. We got it. It's fucking fake okay. news. But no. Okay. And, and, and okay. if anyone okay. else thinks fucking over me, you're out. And I fucking mean it. I'm over it. Everyone shut okay. the fuck up. We're going to let LG finish this fucking phone call. Okay. You guys are going to have a civil fucking conversation about what the fuck just happened. Does anyone have a problem with that? Thank you. Better than y'all. Thank you. <laughs> So if I have to come back out here again, I swear to fucking God, y'all will be on a motherfucking plane so fast. Mark my word. Possible, go in order, whatever order you remember, and we'll move from that. Are we going to get a cue, or are we just going to start? We're good. Okay, so Elton, just for clarity, can you start from the beginning and go, not Jackie? No, I wasn't going to say that. I was gonna say. Can you start from the beginning and just explain so that Jen and Jackie that you met already can hear the story about how um, Nia was brought to me. Oh my God, baby. So I set up an interview with me over at After Buzz. That's how we all, you know, kind of got together. V asked me to set something up with you so that you could meet somebody named Nia who was basically auditioning to be on the show. And I said to her, well, I will ask her and see what she says, but I'm honestly not sure. I asked, your answer was a flat out no. Like you weren't trying to really put nobody on or nothing like that. So you were like, nah. I said to V, hey, she's not really all that interested. She said, well, I'm a people around you. Like basically I wasn't getting the response that she wanted. So she said she was gonna call you herself. And I'm like, well, don't do that. Cause that's completely unprofessional. If I'm with my client every day and I'm telling you that she's not responsive to this topic, then honestly, it doesn't make any sense for you to go around me and try to talk to her yourself because the same the answer is going to be the same. It's going to be a no. So then after that, I mean, I don't know what happened because we stopped talking. Me and her stopped talking. You randomly, indeed? I get a call. Mm -hmm. Me and he stopped talking. And then randomly, I get a call the other day and she's arguing with me about this same issue. And I'm like, girl, the reason that you were don't talk is because you were being unprofessional trying to go around me and talk to my client about getting your homegirl on a show. She even wanted to like make it seem like y'all have been friends. I'm like, no, she don't know the girl. She don't want to know the girl. That's right. just what that's what it is. Right. And I, I, I tried my best to try to be neutral and um I explained it to V that day she called and to be quite frank, you remember what I said after that phone call, I said don't, she said, take my number down. I said, I don't want your number. She said, I yeah. got a lot of tea on Phoebe and I want to give it to you. And I said, I'm not interested. Exactly. And I, I explained why I wasn't interested. I don't want no tea on Phoebe. I don't care. I said that right. about a hundred times. Then what yeah. happened? V texts you, I guess you said, you hit me up one morning and V texts you and you said, V wants to know if you can help get her friend Nia on the show. Right. And I told you again, I already told her no. I am not exactly. interested. I said she is more than welcome to try to do it on her own, but uh -huh. I am exactly. not interested. I'm not a hater. I don't care what she wants to do, but it's not going right. to be through me because I don't think it's a good idea because I was going with my gut. And now after today's experience, I'm, I'm realizing my gut was spot on because 
she she's mad because she's asking me questions that have nothing to do with her and I you didn't want to ask her stop Jackie no, please sis I didn't want to answer them and that's how this whole argument conjured up and that's why I'm yeah. sitting here calling you and I'll be honest I told Jackie already we hadn't talked you and I had not right. talked but okay. I am I am but y'all didn't stop okay. her and it took a longer time so in the end I'm grateful that you took this call um I'm grateful that I went with my gut because, I mean, you know, friend of the show is a friend yeah. of the show. So um, yeah. we'll talk. We'll talk again. It's nothing but okay. love. And at I'll the wait. end of the day, I don't know what your what your resolution is going to be with your friend, but I me, mean, I don't know Honestly, her. Honestly, there I feel like there is no resolution because the way she made it seems is like we're in the same place because she she was being unprofessional and I wasn't having it. So honestly, at the end of the day, she lying, her homegirl lying, and that's unfortunate. You know? Okay. All good. I just wanted to get that cleared up so that Jen and Jackie could hear because that's what's yeah, relevant you know, right now. So yeah. we'll talk if this progresses. I'm not going to give it no more life because I'm trying not to have to hurt somebody. You know, I got this okay. court case. No and, energy. Yeah. Well, always blessing. Yeah. All right, my love. Be safe, okay? All right. Don't All right. Know. Bye. Bye-bye. Listen, I'm going to be honest. I hope that you guys understand when I simply said there was a color, you said that, you know, you feel everybody's being colors. I think that's what happened tonight. That's why I don't like saying shit. Because all I said is let's talk about it later. Let's go on But cook. nobody seems to understand. No, you told Malaysia and them here, we'll talk about it. You got something. Okay, cool. They came back. Still press the issue. Right here. I said, I don't want to talk about it. It was still an issue. You feel me? It can't still be an issue. Don't laugh, Jackie, because this this is a kid. It's not funny. At the end of the day, no means no. And if you say you don't want to talk about something cool, I don't ever press no issues. I understand how this works, like the best of us, just like you do. So for me, like what I don't want is things taken out of context. And it's like, how many times you got to explain yourself over and over and over again? And I'm not going to deal with kids. That's what I'm not going to do. Woo! That was a lot. Woo! Y'all. Um, I I kind of want to eat, but a lot has happened. So I think personally, I might want to take a minute and just, and just, you know, whoever wants to cook with me, I'm going to cook something. And definitely, I want everybody there. Let's just. Let's just try to just take our mind off of all this, if we can. You know, a lot happened. Kristen and Malaysia came over. I wanted them to play the game. They had something else more important that they wanted to talk about. I feel like we was able to do that. Nothing really got resolved, but we made a step forward. And, um, yeah, I had planned dinner, so I hope you guys would still join me in that. But is Kristen acting like she didn't lie on me? No. She, they just don't want to talk. But I think that they will talk. It's not that they're like, oh. No, I'm I don't care about yeah. talking. Well, she didn't say. We didn't talk about that at all. I'm just like, oh, is she trying to act like she didn't lie on me? Because I have not only you, but two other people that sent me something in regards to the guy. So I'm just trying to get clarity and try and not talk about this for a second. Okay. On what, okay. If she was trying to act like. She didn't say what. Well, Kristen didn't even bring you up, but I didn't know that. And if you got something like that, I definitely feel like that's something you guys need to talk about. Now, I'm going to make sure Nia and Ryan understands because she's right. She don't know what's going on. That situation is Kristen and Jen were friends and um, a lie was put out there, a rumor or whatever about Malaysia. We all fell out. And now someone has came to the forefront and said Kristen was behind it. So that's what we're trying to figure out now. And Jen has some proof. Which I was kind of trying to explain to y'all without like being messy and get y'all in the middle of it. Oh, okay. But like I kind of gave y'all a heads up. Yeah. You know what? I feel like I wish I'd have been in that kitchen and you had that second conversation with them. Mm-hmm. So I could have softened it to It was very soft. Because it sounds, yeah, it sounds like she heard you but didn't hear you. Nah. That's what it sounds she like. She literally said well, this was this tone was nicer because yesterday was a tone. And I said yesterday mm-hmm. wasn't a tone. I was just being direct. And see, we're used to it, OG, because we all know each other. But and we're you used speak to it that way to adult. everybody. I speak that way to you people. You do, and I don't get mad at you. I listen we, to you yeah. because you're talking to me as yeah. an adult. Yeah. Well, listen. Mm, 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 mm. I'm starting to think maybe I should put the crab oil in the hotel tomorrow. 
Because I'm not cooking for them hoes. You know what? I'm gonna cater them something. Can listen, starve. I'm gonna look at them bitches that. can go get crabs. Okay. Uh, they not. They not. I'm listening. So what I'm gonna do? I'm not I'm cooking going, for them. Plan and you know B what? Bitches. We ain't supposed to do the fucking goddamn break fest no. tomorrow. What I'm gonna do? The crab gonna go bad. The crab. The crab is. not We can freeze it. It won't go bad. You um, good? We can no, freeze it. No. Or we can keep it in the fridge. Well, you know I'm what? not I'm cooking anything for them. And we gonna cook for us. Yeah. I'm not cooking for them. My thing is. Like these girls was begging. My Your phone ringing? Ringing. Oh, you know what? That's my iPad. Okay, go on. My phone is still full of mm-hmm. videos and stuff, and the reception here is crazy. Mm-hmm. So somebody called me. Who is it? Evelyn. Oh my gosh. What is she calling me for, girl? Let me see. Hold on. Let me call it that. That's freezing. Yes, yeah, so, but. I got, ooh, I'm shaking, girl. That was just, ooh. I'm not, because I know the truth. I know these girls was begging to be on this show, and I just said, no, do it on your own. I don't have nothing to do with Phoebe, and I don't want nothing to do with her. Oh, my God. Eh? Hey, girl, I'm sorry. I was trying to answer my iPad, and it won't answer. What's going on? What are you doing? Girl, sitting here shocked. Listen, yes. listen, what? you come over here with Naya and the why? Just come. Just come over here. Girl. Uh, uh, come. They're going to go get you. Okay. Bye. Uh, all right. The doctor's going to get you. Bye. Mm-mm. 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 No. They're going to try to recruit mm-hmm. them now. <laughs> Look at your face. She can't even. That's not even how you say her name. <laughs> Evelyn's voice. Something in her fucking voice. Keep your phone on. Jackie, I don't think you don't think I should go? I don't. We're having a whole conversation right now. We are. Okay, you know what? You right. You want to see? <laughs> Hurry up. Tell me think because I'm gonna make sure you good and I'm gonna see what she's talking about. Something ain't right. I'm telling you. And you don't know what it could be. I, I don't know. But I don't ahead. care tell what me, it tell could me be. At this point it's obvious these girls were sent from the devil. 